The new twist is raising old questions about the O.J. Simpson case. The LAPD now testing a knife reportedly found at Simpson's former Brentwood estate. And KCAL 9's Dave Lopez live outside police headquarters. He's in downtown L.A. Dave? Well, Sandra, behind me uh, is the LAPD headquarters, a flurry of activity, and uh, we uh, can now tell you that citing police sources, CBS Radio is reporting that the knife found at the old estate of uh, OJ's home in Brentwood is not consistent with a murder weapon. I can also tell you that sources that we have talked to from the LAPD say that people who have seen the knife say that it is much too small to be the murder weapon, but of course the test will continue. Anything to do with the OJ case simply will not go away. My understanding that is an, a knife, that uh, so it's not not a machete. But is it the murder weapon that was used to kill Nicole Brown Simpson and Ron Goldman? The murder weapon that was never produced at the trial of O.J. Simpson, a trial where he was found not guilty. It is being treated as we would all evidence, so it has been submitted to our our lab. O.J.'s estate was sold in 1998, and the new owners demolished it, according to the story told to the LAPD. An off-duty, now-retired LAPD motorcycle police officer was working a movie set as a security guard not far from O.J.'s house when it was being knocked down. One of the construction workers, as the story goes, found a knife buried on the property and gave it to that officer. And what did the officer do with it? He kept it for nearly 18 years before he turned it over to the LAPD two months ago. Anytime you come into contact with evidence, that you should and shall re submit that to investigators. So I don't know what the circumstances are, why that didn't happen. The LAPD did confirm that the retired officer did tell them he thought the OJ case was closed. It's not. They will not confirm or even discuss a story going around that the officer who was given the knife told a buddy who's on the force that he was thinking of framing the knife and what he thought about it. That's when his friend told him, you better call homicide. And he did. Or if this whole story is possibly bogus from the get-go. So again, citing CBS sources and our own sources, those who have seen the knife say it is simply too small to have been the murder weapon. Does all this mean anything if it is connected to O.J.? You have to remember one thing, double jeopardy. No matter what the evidence shows, O.J. Simpson cannot be put back on trial for those murders. He's already been found not guilty. Reporting live from outside the LAPD headquarters, I'm Dave Lopez.